Hello children, welcome to my language art segment. Today, let's have a bit of fun with short stories. The short story I have in mind is The King of Kites by Judith Hennigan and Laura Fournier. In this episode, we'll be responding to the literary text by Number one, reading the book and talking about the book cover. Number two, recalling the synopsis of the short story. And number three, describing the characters and their characteristics. Are you ready? Let's begin. Here's the book we're going to work with today, The King of Kites. Before I read the story, let's talk about the book cover. Here's the title. The title is always at the top or in the centre where people can see it clearly. This is where you can find the name of the authors, Judith Hannigan and Laura Fournier. They are the ones who wrote this book. Hmm, I wonder what this story is about. The King of Kites. What do you think? I think it has something to do with the boy and the kite on this book cover. I wonder why he's called the king. Maybe his kites are the special kites. You know what? Let's flip the book over and read the blurb. When Anil hears about the big wedding in the village, he decides to make 12 kites to fly in honour of the bride. But Anil's mother is making clothes for the special day and she needs Anil's help. And all of these ribbons and sequins too. How can Anil go to the wedding without the kite? Oh, so now we know that the boy in this picture is called Anil and he has a little mission with his kites. Oh, I am so excited. I wonder how he's going to make the kites for the wedding. Do you think he'll succeed? Let's read the book to find out. The King of Kites by Judith Hennigan and Laura Fournier. Anil knew about kites. He knew how to make them out of paper, sticks and glue. He knew how to fly them in the sky above the village. The other children brought him their broken kites to mend. Anil was the king of kites. Anil's mother knew how to sew. She knew how to cut cloth and stitch seams. She knew how to work beautiful patterns in bright silk. The other women bought her their old clothes to mend. She was the queen of needles. Every morning, Anil and his mother sat down in the corner of the yard. Anil's mother had everything she needed. Folds of fabric, reels of thread, and a pot of shiny new pins. She set to work and soon her needles flew. Anil too had everything he needed. Sheets of paper, spools of string, and a pot of good strong glue. He set to work and soon his fingers flew. Then one day, Anil heard about a wedding in the village. I shall make 12 kites and fly them all at once in honour of the bride, said Anil to his friends. I shall cover them with sequins and give them tails of bright ribbon. He sat down in the shade and set to work. But Anil's brother was not pleased. I shall have extra shirts and saris to sew for the wedding, she cried. You don't have time for kites, Anil. I need your help and I need your sequins and your ribbons. It was true. The whole village wanted new clothes for the wedding. Anil's mother sat down in the shade and set to work. All day long she cut and sewed and stitched. I need more cloth, she cried, and Anil ran straight to the market. 
I need more thread, she cried, and back he went again. Anil, called his friends. Where are the 12 new kites for the wedding? Anil did not answer. His mother had cut up his kite paper for the sari patterns. She had used his string when she had run out of thread. By nightfall, all the new clothes were ready. But Anil felt sad. How could he go to the wedding without the kites? Anil's friends saw that he was sad. They had not forgotten his promise to fly kites at the wedding. When Anil woke up in the next morning, 12 kites lay on the ground outside his house, the kites he had made for his friends long ago. Quick, said his mother, I saved a few sequins and a roll of ribbon. Fetch my needle, fetch the glue. Anna's mother helped him to decorate the kites. At the wedding, everyone praised Anna's mother for her stitching. She was the queen of needles. And everyone admired Anna's 12 beautiful kites flying high in the sky. Anil thanked his friends for giving him their kites. They laughed and lifted them up onto their shoulders. You made them for us, Anil, they shouted. You are the king of kites. The end. Wow, what a beautiful story. I'm glad the story had a happy ending. I hope you enjoyed the story just as much as I did. Now let's move on to the activities. Now, we are going to talk about the synopsis of the story. A synopsis is a brief summary of the story. It summarizes all the important events in the story. I'm going to show you a few sentences about the story. Your task is to arrange these sentences in the correct order to make a synopsis. Write your answer in the flowchart given. Let's check our answers. Anil is good at making kites. His friends called him the king of kites. Anil's mother is a great streamstress. She sewed beautiful clothes for the women in the village. One day, Anil heard about a wedding to be held in town. He promised to make and fly 12 kites at the wedding. However, Anil's mother was busy sewing clothes for the wedding and needed Anil's help. Anil had to go to the shop to buy supplies for his mother. He was sad because he had no time to make the kites. On the morning of the wedding, Anil woke up to find 12 kites from his friends at his doorsteps. At the wedding, Anil proudly flew the kites with the help of his friends. Both Anil and his mother were praised because of their splendid jobs. And that's the synopsis of the story. Did you get all the answers right? Well done!
Characters and characteristics. There are two very important characters in this story. Do you know who they are? This is Anil. This is Anil's mother. Can you describe their personalities? What kind of people do you think they are? Remember, we use adjectives to describe a person. Also, provide a reason based on the story. For example, I think Anil is a clever boy because he can mend kites for his friends. And I think Anil's mother is a talented woman because she can sew beautiful clothes. So, let's think of other characteristics to describe Anil and his mother. Read the book again and see which event catches your eye. Then, think of a suitable adjective to describe the character. Fill in the bubble map for Anil and his mother. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers, as long as you can explain why you think that way. Are you ready to check your answers? Here are my answers. It's okay if we don't have the same answers, because different people have different perspectives towards the story. Let's start with Anil. I think Anil is a helpful person because on page 5, he helped his friends to mend the kites when they got broken. Besides, he helped to buy supplies for his mother on page 18. He didn't complain even though he had promised to make the kites. I also think he is a humble person because even though the other children called him the king of kites, he did not show off with his skills. Moreover, he is such a thoughtful boy. He wanted to make 12 kites for the bride. He wanted to honour her on her wedding day. Can you imagine what a celebration it would be to have so many colourful kites in the sky? You can read this on page 12. Finally, I think he is a talented boy because of the way the writer wrote about his handicraft on page 10. He set to work and his fingers flew. The word flew here doesn't literally mean his fingers flew away. No, it means he was good at what he does, that his fingers were very fast at making kites. That's why he is talented. Now let's talk about Anil's mother. I think Anil's mother is a hard-working woman because she spent all day sewing new clothes for the whole village. You can read about this on page 17. I also think she's helpful because after all the clothes she's sewn, she helped Anil to decorate the kites. This was mentioned on page 26. Besides that, she's a kind woman. She helps the women by mending their old clothes. This was mentioned on page 7. Furthermore, she's a resourceful person. On page 20, when she ran out of paper for her sari patterns, she used Anil's kite paper. She also used his strings when she ran out of thread. This showed that she's full of creative ideas in problem solving. And that's what I think of Anil and his mother. I wonder what your answers are. Share them with your teacher or friends. I hope you've enjoyed reading this book and doing the activities with me. Till next time, bye!